Let's go get our rope back. Explore more of the town of Mordavia. Trying to be. You shake the. Never know when you might need it. Take a quick nap. Get some of our stamina back. Up. Up some rest. Up. And feel better. Let's finish our legs until it says we can't. There's only a certain amount go. of punishment your body can stand on any given day. Enough pain, enough gain for now. Try again tomorrow. You got it, Johnny. JRD. Hello. So I saunter over to the old man. You greet the old man. Good day. Have you seen my honor? Can't say that I have. I'm you a put thief. Your thumb on your nose and the old man ignores you. It's honor. I am looking for honor. I, I, I Nikolai. am Nikolai. Have you seen my honor? Don't think I have. All right. Well, it's nice talking tell to the you. the old man goodbye. If you see Anna, tell her I am looking for her. Fair enough. I will turn down the skill for this. Because I hate doing extended versions of this. All those lovely chimes, though. Alright. Craniums. That looks like a likely place for a spare key. But you don't find anything. Fair enough. Let's try this thing. What the H? Transcend a receiving animal processor. You can analyze the creature you wish to capture, then apply the proper bait. The trap will catch it for you. We'll know what to feed it. Not quite ready yet. Hold on. Let's check these other doors. Just open it. Oh! Antwerp attack. Oh no, you've been <laughs> Antwerped. This is how the story of Thiefy Jr. ends? Oh, okay. These are just baby Antwerps, so the attack wasn't fatal. Had a near fatal run in with a regular size Antwerp in Quest for Glory 1. Let's go with Thiefy Jr. 2 here. I think we've been out in the field enough to warrant a sequel. Let's do it. Does it move? Yes. Does it have legs? No. Does it bounce? Sure do. And it's alive. It's not a snake that's swallowed a rubber. I do like the animation, though. I want a kangaroo. I don't want a frog refugee from a French restaurant. I do mean a baby ant tour. I am not kidding. They love avocado. Alright, what happened to my voice? Let's uh, drop it in here. You bait the trap with avocado from your sandwich. Avocado was never high on your list of favorite foods anyway. This game was ahead of its time. Trap starts working. Now avocados are everywhere. You caught an Antwerp. It's simply amazing. It's simply amazing. All right, do we have the Antwerp? Because we don't have the Antwerp. You've caught it. All right. Let's try this door. This is the Antwerp maze. Antwerps are naturally bouncy, so all you have to do is continually rotate the maze until the baby Antwerp bounces over to the key, then out through the exit. Simple enough. How fast is this going to go? Okay, we don't need to turn down the speed. Fast. There we go. 
There we go. Got the key. Ah, oh, no. A little late. There. Congratulations. Woo. You've used the baby Exercise and to get Dr. Cranium's laboratory key from the maze. You add the key to your key ring. Right, we're filling out this ring nicely. What do we got so far? We got Thief Skilled, our room key, Event Adventurer Skilled, and now Dr. C's. This ring contains the key. One of uh, the keys sorry, opens we don't have one of the Adventurer Skilled. You have a key for your storage locker at the end. Storage locker. You have the adventure. There we go. All right, let's give it a try. All right, this one. I like this puzzle too. As long as it's not a sliding puzzle. There she is. I guess if I had turned up the difficulty, they would have uh, given me more of the puzzle to fill out, but Great. it's fine. You've managed to find Dr. Cranium's keyhole and open the door. You pass through into Dr. Cranium's private laboratory. Oratoire. Quickly, Igor! Quickly, Igor, the fluid, I must have, have the, the fluid. fluid! Oh, excuse me. I thought it was Igor coming in to assist me. He helps out in the lab sometimes. We get mistaken all the time. Now then, what can I do for you? Why is his music so much louder than everyone else's? Hello. You say hello to the scientist. Welcome to my laboratory. You must have more than the usual intelligence and perseverance to have made it in here. Wasn't easy. You introduce yourself to Dr. Cranium and tell him a little about your adventures. I should be most interested to hear about your travels and your scientific discoveries along the way. Unfortunately, I have very little time for that right now. Perhaps we can discuss your adventures when you next return. You thumb your nose, See how the doctor and so responds to this. I was afraid of that. <laughs> As an outsider here, you have apparently not yet built up an immunity Mordavian to the Mordavian dancing, dancing sickness. sickness. We must world have had several people in town who exhibited those symptoms, <laughs> but I have not seen any cases in quite some time. Let us hope the disease does not prove fatal in your case. It's kind of sweet how clueless and naive the doctor is. Let's tell him about magic. You explain to Dr. Cranium that magic I feel like I'm the last person like who should be telling anyone about magic. With the same elements. My numbers are so low. Oh, nonsense! There's no such thing as magic. There is only science. What you call magic is simply scientific phenomena that have not yet been properly investigated and catalogued. All right, Doctor. Yeah, every line in Casablanca is basically a, just a classic line. It's kind of insane. There is, of course, Speaking no of such which, thing as magic. There is only science. Science. Doesn't he give us Still, a spell you would here? Be amazed at how gullible some people are. Yeah, Just we don't need this, day, but someone gave me this scroll saying it was a magical spell. Can you believe that? Who would have given that it to you? It's purest puppycock. I'm Nothing wondering. on here makes any sense whatsoever. Here, you may have this as a reminder that magic is a figment of fevered imagination. Only science is real. Like I'm the first visitor. Obviously, Doctor Cranium needs to take a correspondence course from the famous wizard school. <laughs> As you read the scroll, you find that you have learned the incantations and gestures with which to cast a glide spell. Hmm. Then the scroll vanishes. There you go. Famous there, wizard school. It was not even a very good piece of parchment. It fell right apart. Do you mean wit? Wizards Institute of Technosphery? Uh, what about the spells? Ah, I'm yes. sorry, the, the formulas. Science. I'm glad you asked. Science is the process of systematically increasing our knowledge of the world through observation and experiment. Unfortunately, some of the townspeople here seem to have no concept of the, uh... the wonders of science. Some of them even claim my little inventions are magical. Such poppycock! There's no such thing as magic. 
Still, the townspeople insisted that I should be able to use my magic to cure wounds and sickness. I told them that I am a scientist, not a doctor, but they wouldn't listen. I had little choice but to concoct some simple elixirs. <laughs> they were childishly pleased. It's nothing Science for him. is really so simple once you understand it. Empty flasks. You ask Dr. Cranium if he can spare an empty flask for specimen collection. Of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> I am always delighted to assist scientific research of any kind, and I have plenty of flasks. You may have this one. How about another one? How about that one? Of course. Of course. <laughs> of of course. Course. I like getting one is got the wide smile. Can I have some stamina? If you want to improve your stamina, then you should make sure you what? eat a healthy diet from all the different food groups and get plenty of aerobic exercise. That is science. Nah. What about healing. Oh, potions? you must mean my patented healing drink. You may have my last one. Unfortunately, I have forgotten the formula for its main ingredient. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look if these you can up. help me remember it, I will be able to make some more healing drinks. Although the work is very time-consuming. All right, let's see. Zasperol. Wind, wind, water, wind, water. Wind, wind, water, wind, water. Wind, wind, water, wind, fire powers combined. Thank you. With Sweet. that information, I'm sure I shall be able to create some sensational scientific solutions. About poison cure. Oh, oh, you must mean my new universal poison antidote. You may have this one, but I will need some help with the- All right, what's the formula? Zatsu brew. This is water, fire, fire, wind, water, water, fire, fire, wind, water, by your powers combined. Thank you. With that information, I'm sure I shall be able to create some sensational scientific solutions. The avocado and garlic Experiments sandwich. Are the meat and drink of science. First, you must come up with a hypothesis based on your understanding of the scientific elements. Afterwards, you then have pizza. Then perform an experiment to test the hypothesis. Afterwards, you have a pizza. Here we go. Pizza is a crucial ingredient in many scientific mm. formulae. There oh is a God. nearly infinite variation in its effects, depending on whether one starts with pepperoni, mushrooms, artichokes, or plain cheese. <sighs> One should always order extra pizza in case the experiment requires additional materials. Besides, science is hungry work. Just mention pizza and, yeah, I could starve for it. Earth is for solidity pizza, and stability. Pizza, of course, the most important pizza element of all. The essence of we finally got to go up against the pizza strength. elemental. Most importantly, and Thiefy Jr.'s playthrough of the series in Quest for Glory 2, the, the fan remake. And we didn't even have to throw a punch. That worked out nicely, actually. My name is Dr. Cranium. I am Mordovia's Some chief scientist. Some call me mad. <laughs> mad? Mad? They all call me mad. <laughs> but what do they know of madness? I am not mad. A bit perturbed about the world situation and how I get so little respect, perhaps. But certainly not mad. All right. Well, if you say. Essential etheric fluid is an important ingredient in my formula for reanimating dead bodies. It contains the essence of the dead element bodies. of water, the most important ingredient in life science. All right, so if it's life science, water is crucial, but otherwise it's... Oh, can I, uh... Un I... Okay, no, we can't do that yet. All right. Well, good talking to you, Doc. Come back and visit again. Oh, and if you see Igor, please tell him I still need the fluid. Okay. Gotcha. Can there anything else we can identify? Yes. Does it have legs? Yes. I have one animal in mind, actually. It has lots and lots of legs. Exactly six legs. An octopus and a squid. With future tentacles. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. 
No, don't eat heroes. Ah, garlic. All right, if we run into any hex pods, we'll know what to give them. Speaking of which, <laughs> let's check out that monastery. And just in case we get stuck. I don't think we can get stuck, but just in case. Somebody might see you if you try. Oh, uh, what does Igor care? After some rest, you... What time of day is it? After... After some rest, you feel worse. After... After... Getting dark yet? Not quite. All right. Ah. Uh, throwback to, uh, Quest of Glory 1. You're on your own in a dangerous place. What time of day is it? Nah, the sun's about to go down. I like this sound card option. You get all the ambient sounds, the birds, the nature. When you don't have Necrotars trying to maul you to death. Hello? A heavy gate blocks the way to it's the It's like one of ten road. people in this game. Far in which, the distance. Which, again, leads me back to who gave castle. Dr. Cranium Welcome a spell to scroll. Mordavia. I'm the first it's tourist nice here to in some fresh like a blood decade. Around here. We so seldom see strangers. That's what I'm saying. Hello. It is so difficult to get past the swamp which blocks the pass to and from the valley. We haven't had a stranger here since the rains created the swamp so several years ago. Yeah. I can see Ty Burrell playing <laughs> this guy. You've obviously done quite a lot for one person. It will be interesting to see what you do around here. I know he doesn't mean that to sound menacing, but... You adopt the traditional thief sign position. I love how he... Weakling it's a different description right and of the thief sign depending on who we do it for. I don't know why. It's no always... one seems particularly impressed. Right. Boris. I... I'm Boris Stelvitz. Why does that name sound familiar? What did Olga tell us her husband's name was? I am the gatekeeper of Borgov Castle. Is it not true that he who guards the gates is the Keystone Speaker? I don't know. Let's say yes. This is the gate to Borgov Castle. You can see it in the distance behind here. I am here to make certain that only welcome guests may enter through here in the daytime. When's the last time there was a welcome night, guest? This gate is guarded by huge necrotors Arr. who make certain no yeah, one, one of tries to last enter night. without permission. This morning. Um, do you know anything about Katrina? This is the castle of the Boyars, the title of the rulers of Mordavia. It once belonged to the Borgov family for generations, but the last Borgov has been dead for many, many years. Okay. Yeah, who lives here? I'm not sure Katrina? who all lives in the castle. I so seldom see anyone from there. Who pays your salary? What there's name shows master, up on the checks? Of course. And then there's the strange foreigner. There's also the master's daughter, I believe. And some rather strange gods. Beyond that, I really can't say. I think that's everyone, actually. Who's the master? master desires privacy, and I respect that wish. As I always say, <clears throat> the will of the master is the shell of the servant. <laughs> I wrote that. <laughs> like the improv. He is an unpleasant sort, with a short beard and moustache and a funny hat. He is rude when giving orders, and he has the habit of staring at a person and licking his lips. Most unsavory. Hmm. I haven't actually seen the daughter, but I know the master is quite proud of her. Not a whole lot of description. I have only caught glimpses of them occasionally, but I don't think they are quite human. No matter. <laughs> if a man does a good job, then whether he is a man does not matter. Did you write that yourself? All right. Well... 
was good talking to you, Boris. Goodbye, young man. May the fireplace be warm and the drink cold at your journey's end. I like that. Same to you, Boris. I like that guy. Let's see if we can make it back in time to ask Olga what the exact name of her husband... I mean, you know, with there being only 12 people in this whole land, I feel like you meet two Boris Stoviches. Something's going on there, right? Can't just be a coincidence. Ah, well now, what news do you have for me? Well, here's the thing. Tell Olga about what you've been doing in Moldavia. And be sure and keep me informed. Yeah. To a gasper like her, I'm a godsend. What would you like to know about? It's true. Twelve people is a lot for some of these Sierra games. Yeah, what's with your husband? Yeah, my sad departed husband. Boris. His name was Boris. Gone three years now. He was such a good man. Are you sure he's not just like five screens over? Yeah. You tell Olga that the gatekeeper's name is <laughs> Boris Stovich. Ask if they're related. I love this reaction. Uh -huh. so, so that's, that's where, he where went. the so and so went. <laughs> <laughs> tell him he's a rotten or good nick. Thought he was dead for three years. Ah, I knew it. All right. I will relay that message. As my husband used to say, come back again, sunshine or rain. He wrote that himself. She got over that very quickly. All right, let's turn on the burners. Churn those legs there, Thiefy J. TMJ. Ah, huh, TMJ. Hey, there's always that pause, like there's supposed to be lightning in the background. When the days are short and the nights grow long, a friendly face is a welcome sign. I agree, Ty Burrell. So, about Olga. You tell Boris what Olga said about him. He blushes. Olga was always opinionated. I grew tired of listening to her complain about me all the time. Hmm, I could see that. All right. Bear right back. Farewell, and may your path lead to your goal. Back east. I know we're not going to finish this little conversation train before night falls, but we do have some stuff to do tonight on our first night here in Mordavia. Our first full night here in Mordavia. Back again so soon. I heard. You tell Olga that Boris says she complains about him all the time. Well... If he'd ever been here to get his work done instead of spending all his time carousing at the inn, <laughs> I wouldn't have had to complain. And you can tell him I said so, huh? Where would he sit? There's only three chairs at that one table. All right. <laughs> As my lost husband... All right, hold on. Let's, let's, let's put a pin in that for the, for the moment. We're pretty sure that uh, he's... Let's see. One, two, three, four... Five. He's six screens over. I'm not sure how that translates to miles or kilometers, but I'm guessing it's not many. A day to be walking. A man who walks everywhere will see much. I always say. There you go. He always has something to say uh, about Tell Olga. Tell him that Olga thinks he was too lazy. Ooh, awkward. Lazy. What was there to do in a shop with no customers? Once the swamp cut off trade here, we had nothing to sell. I had nothing to do there. So just because I would sit at the inn and talk with the other men, she thought I was lazy. Yeah. All she ever did was sit around and give me orders when I was in the shop. What was the point of dusting if no one came in the shop to notice the dust? I mean, after you dust the place that first night... May your night... journey take you where you wish to go. Thank you, Boris. You know, there's literally nothing else to do for like another week until it's time to dust again, so I don't, you know. I don't know, I see both of their points. I'm not trying to get in the middle of this, except for the fact I'm literally in the middle of this right now. Back again. Alright, so... You tell Olga that Boris didn't like being ordered around all the time. 
Ah, oh, I wouldn't have had to order him around if he would only have done his work. I just wanted the shop to be neat and clean in case anyone came in. How does he expect me to do all the work around here by myself? Hmm. Yeah, this was his family's business after all. <laughs> well, you make a good point, Olga. I will relay yeah, that. Good night and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Second, we might pull this up. Oh no! It's rare when you're on the screen when he does that. Usually you're sleeping in the street. Let's see if Boris is gone at this point. Is the screen getting darker? No, he's still here. Olga might be closed up shop though. When the days. Alright, he's starting to repeat himself. To tell Boris that Olga is having trouble running the shop without him. How many customers there is can she possibly have? There's much to do to have? keep the shop straightened up. My family always worked together to keep it going before. If only Olga wouldn't nag me all the time. She and I used to enjoy running the shop when we actually had things to sell. What is the point of even running a shop when there is no business? You gotta get your avocado and garlic sandwiches somewhere. It's my contention. Alright, is she uh, locked up for the evening? Let's find out. The general store. Yep, sure has. Which probably also means that Igor has gone for the day. There we go. Alright, we'll finish that in game tomorrow, but. I'm gonna do it now. Somebody might. I'm gonna take a nap and then do it now. Uh, somebody. I'm gonna take another nap. In the street. Up. The wall is too smooth to climb. The wall. All right. Let's the just hold down that enter key. Kind of like the uh, the volume automation effect it's having. The wall is. Too you know what? This is a lot faster than uh, up. using that rope up. in the adventurer's guild time and up. time again. So. Up. You're getting getting tired from sleeping midnight on day one the wall is the wall what is my climbing this is exactly the problem we had in uh, quest for glory one 227 I wonder how they decide I don't think it needs to be 300 maybe they're like ah he put in effort there we go 230 something I made the cardinal mistake of climbing this wall in this game without going in to run first, because it's so much slower when you're sneaking around, actually. Hey, it's a hexapod, right? I think it has six legs. You have a really bad feeling about this place. <laughs> it looks ordinary enough, but the general atmosphere of the place and the symbols of the Dark One everywhere make you almost want to turn and run as fast as you can. Let's go... You know what? Let's go Thiefy 3, just in case. I don't think we can get stuck, but just in case we can get stuck. It's a six-tentacled, octopus-like creature. I guess you'd call it a hexapod. Unless you like cats, you might call it a hexapus. <laughs> Not sure why the music is so much louder in here as well. You like garlic? A little uh, birdie such, I mean, animal identification machine told me you like garlic. Hector the Hexapod happily gorges itself in the garden. <laughs> Hector looks much less hungry and perhaps a little less dangerous now. As you push and pull at the antique log, suddenly it turns in your hand and the whole back of the fireplace opens to reveal a secret passage leading down. No wonder the fireplace didn't appear to have been used much. There is a cold feeling down here that chills your bones and sets the hairs on the nape of your neck on end. There is a musty odor of mold and mildew mingling with a sickeningly sweet smell of decaying flesh. Welcome. Drink, right? 
in case we are stuck in here. You tap it. Huge cast of Amontillado. This is the strongest stuff you've ever tasted. Assuming that you're not an aficionado of dragon's breath. My lord. Bottoms up. Love a dragon's breath reference. Ah, oh, that's a bad idea. It's lovely. Sierra. Oh no. Bad time to be pacifistic. I'm not sure how you take that thing down. <laughs> Can you Man, use your words with that creature? It. Fortunately, the Dark One rising seems to have been just a vision, not the reality yet. A scroll has fallen from the cask's wine droplets. You pick up the roll paper on the floor. It has a symbol of a drop of blood at the top and the inscription Ritual of Blood. You can't read any of the other writing on it. Hmm. Oh, let's turn up the skill a bit. And see if this gets us a little mini game here. Here we go. Not much to it, but I enjoy it. <laughs> you rifle through the map monk's desk and find the diary of Amon Tilada. Boy, was this guy wacky. <laughs> Reading this makes your head hurt. However, it does give you some information about the Dark Rub rituals. We just got the blood. Said something about the first ritual being placed within the mad monk's tombstone, there to be forever guarded by followers. The second ritual should be placed in the Stone of Squids and revealed only by the light of a dead child's soul. Damn. The next ritual should be placed in the hollow of the hangman's tree and guarded by the spirit of the dead which remains there. The blood ritual shall be concealed magically within the monastery and only he who willingly seeks dark visions shall find it. We just did. The mouth ritual should be placed in the great arch itself, under the Dark One's sign. Gregor. And the heart ritual shall be given to someone named Gregor, for safekeeping. Now there's another note on this page in another's handwriting. Gregor is missing in the forest and probably dead. Yet where is the heart ritual? That's going to be where we're going to have to break our oath. After the rifles. The voozle. Above the altar is the sign of the Dark One, surrounded by arcane letters. A notch next to the A makes you think that perhaps that is some sort of starting point for the letters. If that's the case, then a voozle. There's the, uh, we haven't had a death yet. Should we get our, should we get a death in here? Let's get our death in. There's that statue the chief was talking about. Pick Let's grab it for him. The shopping bag. Oh, Carefully well, whatever. Avoiding any contact with your own I tried. The statue glows briefly as it slips into the bag, then subsides. Well, let's see if we can get out of here. Yeah, we might be trapped in here. We'll see. You need to work more. Tricky wall. Sweet. All right. Yeah, it's a lot better than that one time we got trapped and it was awful. And uh, 
that was less awful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.